Hey guys, how you doing? VT Maestro here. Hope all is well. Well, I'm starting to finish up the base now. Got my final two sonal twos poured last night. Got 12 all together. So the next step in the process here is to clean up the middle between both sets of, of uh, sonal tubes. Trim, take out the bags of stone, remove the rocks. And I'm going to go ahead and lay down some landscape fabric and then I'm going to bring my crushed stone in. All right, guys, so I went ahead and did the trimming. Used my trimmer, went through all the uh, solid tubes and trimmed everything up. No more long grass. Next thing I'm going to do is just rake things up here real quick. So all together I'll have 37 solar panels, 260 watt panels, 17 on the roof. I have 270 watt panels, nine of them, one the ENS 265, and here I'll have 275 watt panels. All the ground will be in phase, and the roof is central inverter. Uh, Getting stone delivered here. Nice. Should be plenty. Okay, YouTube. So I'm starting to stake down the uh, felt fabric here between the sonal tubes, and that's going to act as my weed barrier. Then we're going to go ahead and lay down the rock. So I guess just got this one started, and you can see the rocks over there, which were delivered in the previous video. Just one thing here. I'll show you real quick. These uh, stakes right here are, are instrumental. They just go in really easy and uh, they stake down the fabric, which makes it a lot easier than trying to put rocks and things on it. So make sure when you get work with fabric, you get these stakes. All right, so I got one done, one more to go. Not sure if I'm gonna leave this open, but top so I'll make that grass like I did this one. This was done this way because these were built over two separate years. Plus I had to dig down and up and over for my uh, trench here to connect the two arrays. So I'm thinking I'm gonna leave it the same and just bring in topsoil right here, clean that all up, and then uh, do my fabric over here, topsoil there, plant some grass. All right guys, so I'm heading to the lumber yard to pick up some four by six pressure treated 16 footers that I'm gonna use for the base. And I wanna do this today so I don't get stuck uh, and not have the lumber yard open near the uh, 4th of July holiday. So I don't have my buddy's um, cart, so I've gone ahead and put my uh, carrier on the back. And I'm going to uh, transport. All right, gotta load up, just gotta close the door, tie that down. Set to go here. Got my streamers on the end, 16 footers. All right, we're real slow back home. All right, YouTube. So I've gone ahead and put down the rest of the uh, landscape fabric. As you can see, went ahead on the back array here and used three foot um, landscape fabric. Went a lot faster. I'm glad I used this uh, 18 inch fabric over here because I wanted to use it up, but uh, this went pretty well. You can see I've gone ahead and done one load of stone. I have a 10 cubic foot dump trailer on the back of my Cub Cadet. That works really nice. And that's one load right there. So I estimate it's gonna take between uh, probably seven and nine loads um, per array to cover. All right, so here's a look at uh, how the stone is uh, spreading out. It's going pretty well. I should have enough stone. I got a lot of stone up there to cover both sets of arrays. Okay, so here is one side of the array finish for the base. Got all the stone in, looks pretty good. And I'm probably gonna call it a night. The seals are gonna be out pretty soon. And uh, hopefully I'll finish this up tomorrow. All right, so it's the following day. I get everything done. All the gravel's in. Take another look here. All right, YouTube, we're gonna paint the bases today. I'll show you what I got here. So you can see I got the 16 footers right here. This is one of them. 
I have four to paint. Yeah, I'm using a, a paint called uh, Sun Dried Tomato. That's the color. And Sherwin Williams Woodscapes. It's outdoor paint. All right, so two coats done on each side here, and I got three left to do. All right, so you can see I got my eight foot level out here. Just gonna check, see where we're at center wise. See this level, see it's right there, it's dead center. Just go ahead and check it on quarters here, halfway through on each one. See where we're at here. Halfway here, see where we're at. This side is bad. Looking pretty good right there. And that still looks pretty good right there. All right, so close enough. Just want to mention one more thing that I'm gonna go ahead and try this. 16 footer on each of the uh, four different options and see where it fits best and then proceed forward so it may not go here it may fit better on that one or that one all right so i'm going ahead and going to put the uh, hardware together here i have my big helper here maddie she's gone ahead and put the hardware down as you can see here so this is essentially a deck hardware and uh going to use the bolts that are anchored in with back. a washer and a nut and then with a cover go ahead put that on all right good job and then we're going to go ahead and anchor our 16 footers in there <sighs> and Maddie, want to point out something got into our stone last night not sure if it was a five-year-old little boy or some kind of wild animal but we'll rake that up Definitely wasn't a seven-year-old girl. That's right. All right, YouTube, I've gone ahead and painted my last 16-footer 4x6. And I'm going to go ahead and install it right here. In the meantime, I've gone ahead and uh, pulled out a couple of my... Uh, solar rails here and what I'm doing with those is I'm putting them out and putting them on top of the beams because the beams tend to have tend to be a little crooked especially at the ends and uh, so that's okay because if, as long as my rails are straight and I use them as a straight edge I can go ahead and then draw in a pencil line on each side of the rail and then go ahead and put my mounting hardware in there so yes, I have to do a little bit of the mounting right now. I'll at least get my lines and use the rails as a guide before I can go ahead and actually secure the uh, deck hardware to the 4x6. So my next step in the process here is to make sure that the deck hardware is screwed down. So what I'm going to do for each of the sonic to use the deck hardware, I'm just going to go ahead and mark with a pencil where my deck hardware is supposed to be because I have to go ahead and lift up the four by six beams and then go ahead and screw down the hardware because I have everything lined up where I need it and screw things down and put my beams back down. Then I can drill back um, the deck hardware into the beams using two and a half inch deck screws to hold it down. And we'll be done the base here gone ahead also and measured across the span and I'm at 55 inches where I exactly want to be and I was able to keep everything square because the deck hardware can move back and forth before I screw it down all right show you the process how these things work take the cover off and then you're just gonna line this up to my lines get it close put the uh, washer on and then nut. Uh, I moved it a little bit, I'll line it back up here. Pretty good. 
good there. Tighten it down like that. And then go ahead and just slow it here and let's tighten down. This is tight. Put this back on. We're all set. Alright. Now let's put the beam back. You're good to go. Alright, so I'm just going ahead and I'm sinking in these number nine, two and a half inch uh, Torillos. Um, there's six different holes here to do it. I just go ahead and drill them in with my DeWalt. There's not much to it. YouTube so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up part three of the video here of the uh, DIY grid tie solar uh, installation series here and I uh, got everything done everything is screwed down bolted down it looks good and this is the base it is finished one thing I have left to do now is set a 4x4 post right here and dig a ditch back there but that uh, includes wire so I'm gonna include that with uh, part four of this series which is the uh, wiring. All right, so uh, thanks for watching here. You know what to do. Uh, subscribe, like the video, big thumbs up, and uh, leave a comment. All right, we'll catch you next time.